Folks, I'd like you to meet a very good friend of mine, one of the best engine builders I can think of, Tony Hughes of Hughes Performance in Reno, Nevada. All right, Moses, well, I appreciate the compliments. Yeah, we have Hughes Performance Machine here in Reno, Nevada, and we're a custom engine machine shop, and we do all the machine work and build engines here. When your engine comes in, it starts back here in what we call our disassembly area. We got some of the cleaning stuff like the bead blaster and the tear on guys toolbox and stuff, and those are all blocks waiting to be machined and, and get worked on. So we take it apart here, go back here. We have a 225 gallon hot tank made by Storm Vulcan. And of course, this is our core area back here that we keep all the extra cores and, and stuff that in case you have a broken part, we might have a, a one we can replace it with. And you know, our big air compressor is kind of the dirty area of the shop, if you will. Then it comes out into the shop, if you will. And it would get most of the stuff in the center of the shop here is just for mainly for blocks. Like that's the sonar hone. This is the line hone. This line hones the the uh, main caps where your crank rides. That hones the cylinders, obviously. Machine here. This is a block surfacer and head surfacer. So we surface the heads and the blocks on that. This is your seat and guide machine. We uh, use this for many things. Put valve guides in. Put valve seats in. Machine valve seats. We actually put overhead cam cylinder heads together on this. You can see that the my head guy Dan Brewer has a overhead cam head in right now, and he just got done taking all the springs off of it and stuff with this. So we got your valve grinder. We have a flywheel grinder. We have a belt surfacer, which works great for surfacing exhaust manifolds and headers and stuff like that. Great big giant bead blast cabinet there that we bead blast all the heads that you can see on the floor here. They're all staged up waiting for to get a machine and assembled. So you come back over this direction. See the head bench. We've got a Burko boring bar. We bore the cylinders, obviously, and we can put sleeves in with that. You've got your basic uh, hand control billing machine here. Piston vise is actually set up in it now that we cut the valve pockets in it, but of course we use this for a multitude of different things. Whatever, whatever we need, a machine that won't fit in one of the special machines goes in here pretty much. Got your rod machine. Use this for a multitude of things. Obviously we you recondition or resize the big end of the rod. We can do the small end of the rod. We do the pistons in here. I own motorcycle barrels. That's what that's for right now is in there is a motorcycle barrel fixture. Then we got the rod bench, if we will, press the press apart rods and pistons off with this, grind the caps on the rods with this. It's your rod reconditioning area. And over here, we got your balance area. This is a Heinz state-of-the-art HC500 balancer. Add or subtract weight in the areas that it tells you where they're not to take it off with. You put these bob weights on the crankshaft that simulate the rate of the rod and piston, spin it, and then it tells you where to take it on and off. After you've match balanced all the parts that you have, you match balance your piston so all they're the same weight. The small end of the rod and the big end of the rod make them all the same weight. And we have a little bit of a fabrication area over here. We can we can MIG weld, we can TIG weld, we have a band saw, we have a horizontal band saw. You know, we do some light fabrication that it seems like you always need with custom engines. We build intake manifolds and all those kinds of things. Here, two, two couple different kinds of belt surfacers. This is our Chevalier CNC milling machine. It's, it has a CNC controls on it. We surface cylinder heads with this. We make custom intake flanges for our intake manifolds that we build, and some other general machine work, whatever comes up that we need to do with it. This is a really accurate screw fed machine here. Then you come over here after your engine was all machined, it would actually make a big surf and go back outside and get all cleaned up. And then after it got cleaned up, we come in here. The uh, six cylinder motor that we're, we're going to talk about today is it's all been machined and it's ready to go and, and it's all laid out there on the bench.